people have so little knowledge about rodents and to most people, oh, it's a rat that needs to be killed. And very few people realize that we have a vast indigenous rodent population, most of whom cause no trouble for us humans. The play rat tends to like the more grassy play areas and they'll take over and settle into their lives pretty much the way they normally live them, collecting and foraging and eating insects and collecting fruits. The nice thing about them, they don't come into buildings, so they're not really interested in coming to human habitations. So there'll be no conflict, there'll be no rats inside vehicles and rats chewing on people's uh, cables, etc, etc. Over the last couple of years, the indigenous gardens of the stadium started to flourish and with it it's a perfect shelter for rodents uh, especially your exotics and to try and keep them away uh, we got in discussions with Arnold and a good suggestion was to introduce bush rats into the gardens and from there on it started to develop and as you saw today we had the first one released we'll just build on that from there on our goal is to reintroduce the indigenous rodents that once occurred in this area and rather get them to settle in the indigenous gardens and form a competitive barrier to any exotics that want to settle in and secondly to provide more food for our resident birds of prey who live in the stadium.